Hi everyone, it's Jojo, and today I have a vintage haul video for you. It's a, actually going to be a collective haul this time. I only found a few things here and there. Um, one thing at a grad sale, I got something from an antique store, estate sale, and from the thrift store. So I just thought I'd put it all together in one video so it would make for a few more items to share with you. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and show you what I found. The first item I got here was from the thrift store, and it is this needle work, this needle point. It has a rose on it, and the um, yarn that they use feels more like a wool yarn. It's definitely um, a little bit scratchier, so I will probably do um, a test on that to find out what material is made out of. But here's the back, and I paid uh, 99 cents for it. It's just cardboard, and then they... Um, use some twine to um, hold the work together and that's something I might frame I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet but I really just like the look of it I found this bowl here at the consignment shop that we have here in town it's a hazel atlas drizzle bowl it reminds me of the cups and saucers I got it was a couple haul videos ago I believe and um, I paid five dollars for the bowl it's a nice size and there's no chips or anything on it and I actually think I might use this for Halloween decor because it has the black and the white I picked up this little cup and saucer for 99 cents and I actually picked up her for 99 cents when I looked at it online they actually have like little hats that sit on top that are ashtrays this one the back of it says pop and it says Relco on the bottom is the brand I just thought he was so cute and he has a little bow tie in his saucer and then she was just a cup I asked the lady and she said she didn't think that it came in with anything else um, but she was so cute and she says mom on the back I got this cranberry glass I think it's like a bohemian or Czech glass for 59 cents and it does have a little if you put your finger around the top, it's nice and smooth, but it does have a little chip in it. Let's see if I could find it. Right there. If you could see it right there at the top. But it's nice and smooth. But I thought the glass was so pretty, and for 59 cents, I definitely got that. So I'll just move forward to some jewelry items I found. This bracelet was from the Goodwill, and I paid $2.59 for it. I bought a bracelet similar to this on eBay. That had like a ruby with some pearls in it and when I bought it she said it was from the 1950s so it's really lightweight and the, the metal is and the stone does feel like glass in the middle but I thought it was pretty and my birthday's in September so I love to find sapphire jewelry it's not marked or anything Let's see what else I found this beautiful brooch and it is marked I paid $2.49 for it and you probably won't be able to see it. It is marked Coro on the back. It's kind of having a hard time focusing, but it is marked Coro. And again, it has sapphires and then some light blue rhinestones to it. I bought this for, um, I think it was a dollar, a dollar something maybe. Um, it could have been a part of a belt buckle maybe. The rhinestone, but I think I'm going to use it, and I'm not sure, maybe this is what it was used for, um, to slide on a scarf, like when I tie the scarf, so it has a little bit of, you know, bling, a little bit of um, sparkle to it. So I got that, and I'm not sure the age of it, but it really has a lot of sparkle to it. And all the stones are there, so that's a plus. I got this um, pin, this brooch, and it says made in Germany. It's a real lightweight butterfly with some enamel work on it. In the bag it had this brooch, and then it also had earrings to it. And I believe I paid $2.79 for the whole set. Now the earrings say, if you open them up, which I may not be able to do it with one hand, or maybe, it says made in West Germany on it. Probably still not going to be able to see that, but made in West Germany. And then the pin says made in Germany. But I just really like the colors on it, and they're nice and bright, and um, none of the enamel is chipped or anything. And then the last piece I got jewelry I got is this pearl bracelet, and I think these are real pearls. They are definitely different in 
um, the shape and the sizes. And I know I saw on one of um, Miss Stone Holmes videos, she said you could rub the pearl on your tooth and if it has that real gritty feel to it, it's most likely real. And they definitely do. I tested, you know, a few of them. Um, but I thought it was really pretty and I like the way that the pearls are kind of weaved together like that. So they're not in straight rows or anything. And the clasp is like a silver flower. It's very, very pretty. And I found that at Goodwill. So I'm not sure that it's really worth a whole lot, but I just really, I like the look of it. And I like the way that these pearls were weaved together. I bought this dish also at the Goodwill the very same day as I bought those. It's like a opalescent um, hobnail. It looks like a soap dish to me. It might be a trinket dish. I paid 99 cents for it. I think I'm actually going to use it for a soap dish, maybe up in my bathroom. I got two terry cloth aprons, which I don't have any that are terry cloth. And I love that these are a Christmas theme with Christmas coming up. Uh, let's see, I paid $2.29 for each of them. And they don't have any stains or anything like that on them. And they're bright, vivid colors. This one has a wreath with a little, um, like the little holly around it. And then the other one has different Christmas sayings in different languages with the little packages underneath it. So I thought those would be fun. I paid $5 for the stack of milk glass dishes. These are made by Hazel Atlas. Um, it comes with four saucers. There was no cup, she said, and four plates. The only thing is, it was all wrapped in plastic, so when I pulled them out, I realized some of these, the, the colors really faded on it, and um, the design is not near as bright. But I like the, um, the turquoise print on it, the different kitchen things. This uh, lamp I found at the Goodwill also, and it is definitely mid-century. Um, if you familiar with the Christmas trees with the little bulbs that you put in it, the little plastic bulbs, the lights. Um, this is a lot like it, except these ones, they just glued flat rhinestones on it. And um, let me see, I might be able to reach the plug-in so you can see it plugged in. I have an outlet over here. Oh, there you go. Now you can see what it looks like when it's all lit up. This isn't necessarily my style, but I've seen a lot of these online, and I know that they're definitely collectible. I've seen them sell anywhere from $50 to $100. This one has a multicolor light. The only thing about this one is the bottom of it. Someone zip-tied the bottom, the light, and it looks like they use electrical tape around the um, wires on the switch. So I would definitely say that should probably be rewired. And the bulb gets really hot in it, but the switch works and everything. I was really excited to buy these two sets at an estate sale. It was actually one of the things that's been on my wish list. They did mark the box on both of them. They were $2.50 and they did write in pen on them. And it's these federal glass um, snack trays. And you probably have seen these. Um, I have seen these before. I just never found it in a box or anything. So I was just kind of waiting. So I was really excited to find them. However... <laughs> When, after I bought them and brought them home, some of them are chipped really badly. So I have about three out of the eight plates that aren't chips. And then the other ones have either little chips or big chips in it. And one of the cups have a chip in it. So that was a little disappointing. I am glad I have the boxes. So maybe if I can find little pieces in the future, I can switch them out with the chipped ones and have a set that's not doesn't have all those flaws in it. I found this set of glasses, these Blendo glasses at the antique store um, last week when I went with my friend. I paid $12 for the set of six glasses in the caddy. When I looked it up online, the set only had six glasses and then it had like a frosted pitcher that went with it. Um, so I figured it's $2 a glass and then I get the caddy that goes with it. And so I was really excited to have the different colored ones, the different colored Blendos glasses. I found just a Pyrex lid, and it's my first lid that has a clear with a design on it, and I paid 99 cents for it, and I did look it up, and it looks like the dish that went with this was a blue divided dish, but I can't remember um, 
what the pattern name was offhand. But that was the first time I've ever saw that, so I was happy to pay a dollar just for the the um, the lid. So I have a few more things to show you. All of these marbles, um, the milk glass is sitting in it. I did do a haul video with this in it about two videos ago. But what I wanted to show you is all the marbles that I got in it. These were at a garage sale. I paid $5 for the whole lot of marbles. They were in like a tin. And some of these are so neat. I don't know much about marbles or if that was a good price or not. I just love the different colors. And I actually put it in the dish and put it as a centerpiece on my table. And I love it because I love all the colors with it. Whoops. Oh, I can't even lift that. I did get this tray that's underneath it. And I paid a dollar for it too. It is a uh, George Briard uh, mid-century um, serving tray. And it has a little gold design in it. And I found that at the Goodwill. Two more things left. I found two purses this last week. And I paid the same price for both of them. I paid $3.29. And this one is neat. It's like a plastic material and it has this really pretty design on it and it is signed if you look right here it says caro c-a-r-o nan n-a-n and i looked up the purses and it looks like they were mo caro nan was known for doing like painted basket purses and this this one just has to be the plastic one but i'll show you the inside so it opens like this and then the inside has this pretty yellow um floral print to it. The inside does kind of smell um, a little bit, so I might, you know, try to air it out in the sun so it's not so, um, it's not a bad smell, it's just uh, a different smell like it had been, sorry, like a different smell like it had been um, stored for a long time. So I might try to sit it out in the sun and see if I can't get rid of that. And then the last one I got was this beautiful seed bead, glass seed bead purse. And it is actually really heavy. It's got a lot of weight to it. It has this pretty weak design on it. And all the bees are there. It's just some of them, a couple of them are discolored. But here's the inside. It says made in Hong Kong. And this is like a, it's got like a spring to it. So when you close it, it just automatically shuts. And it shuts kind of hard. Um, it is a really neat purse. I was excited to find it. So that's everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much, everyone, and I will see you all later. Take care. Bye.